Is there a reason to avoid long-term use of topical LDN? Are there conditions where daily use is advised? If daily dosing is ineffective for a patient's derm condition, would you advise changing to every two days or every three day application to provide off periods for enkephalin and endorphin effect? Okay, so um, is there a reason to avoid long-term use? Well, I would say only if the patient has a reaction and that can happen. Like I said, I've seen it a couple of times with topical. Um, with we, we don't know the exact reason why I was assuming the patient might have been one of those folks who has a SNP in their total receptors. I don't know that though. Um, but once we discontinued it, the, the inflammation went away. So um, are there conditions to use um, where daily use is advised? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I typically use the topical naltrexone twice daily for pretty much all of these inflammatory conditions and the pruritic conditions. Um, it's very effective at twice daily. You don't need a lot though. Um, if daily dosing is ineffective for patients with derm conditions, would you advise changing to every two days or every three days? For topical, I don't know that you'd need to take a break. In fact, I wouldn't think you would need to take a break. Um, so um, we've not had to do it in our patients that we're treating derm conditions with. Uh, just the topical application alone for the paritis primarily is what we're using it to treat. Once the paritis goes away and the inflammation has died, um, you know, because a lot of times paritis is a temporary condition, right? Based on the the, the short term condition you were dealing with. So um, if that's gone away, you know, then the paritis is going to go away. You can stop the disease, stop the treatment, I should say, uh, because the disease is no longer being stimulated. So.